Welcome to Pocono for the running of the Pocono 150. On the pole for today's race is Christian Merrick Jr. and to the outside is Griffin Lynn. Eli Bright is third, fourth is Paul Minnick, and fifth is Jeff Bright. So here we go. Pocono is a unique track up in Pocono, Pennsylvania. Three turns, so it's a triangle. It's a very tricky triangle as well as the Arca Series race in here. And it's going to be for nine laps at Pocono, so it's going to be a very quick race. So they come off turn three. Pace car in. Nine laps, as we mentioned. Christian Merrick Jr. on the front row with Griffin Lynn. As there they come. Down the front stretch. Green flag in the air. We're racing at Pocono. Here they come down the back stretch. Stuart Gratton has not gotten up to speed. He has really slowed the top lane. In fact, there's probably something wrong with that 44. So he's still fading. Then through the tunnel for the first time. Contact Minnick's around. He saves it. Everyone's keeping it straight so far. There's no yellow yet. But watch them as they come up into the turn three. This could be dangerous with cars all the way down to the bottom. Go around Paul Mike. They are three wide. They are making contact. They're still trying to keep it straight. Jake Moss is in the wall in the 06 as they come off of three. Looks like they keep it clean. Christian Merrick Jr. is still your race leader. They have kept it green for now. Christian Merrick Jr. is leading. Eli Bright has gotten to second now. The move going into turn one. He clears Griffin Lynn. Behind them, the battles for fourth. Levi Schultz and Jim Gambit. Man, look at them still racing back there hard. Stuart Gratton is really slow. I don't know what's wrong with the 44. This Jim Gamut is going to clear Levi Schoen through the tunnel. They are making some contact back there. The 97 and 42 looks like got really close. As these three kind of right now battling for the lead. They are really close. As they come off of turn number three. Down the front stretch they will come. Eli Bright's on the back bumper of Christian Merrick Jr. Does he make a move though is the question. Yeah, Stuart Grant has something wrong with that car. Way off pace. And is continuing to fall throughout the field. As look at Eli to the inside off of turn number one. Couldn't make it stick. Tyler Lyman in the 9-2 is coming. He's gotten around to fifth. As they are coming down the back stretch. Long pond straight away. Into the tunnel. Eli still on the back bumper. Christian McDreary is looking to the inside this time. Down the short shoot. Eli Bright trying to grab the race lead as he enters three. They are still side by side. Eli keeps a nose under the 75. But Christian Merrick Jr. with a great run off the corner. Trying to clear Eli Bright as they come down the front stretch. They are still side by side. Christian Merrick Jr. leads at the line. But Eli is coming and he has drafting help from Tyler Lyman. I would not be surprised to see that nine car go to the race lead here in turn one. Oh, it's getting tight though. Three wide. Tyler Lyman all the way to the bottom. Jim Gambit all the way up top might get a position here. Gambit out of nowhere will grab second and has a big run on Christian Merrick Jr. as they go into the tunnel. Gets underneath. Side by side into the tunnel. Jim Gambit slides up. It takes the position from Christian Merrick Jr. Contact between Eli Bright and Jake West. Bright trying to get down low. Tyler Lyman. Coming for second now as Jim Gambit has gotten away with five laps to go. And now they're side by side for second as they come down to the stripe. Lyman has cleared. So now can he run down Jim Gambit? Eli Bright's coming back in the nine. Jake West is coming in the four. He's coming to the inside. Here comes Lyman to the inside. Turn one. West to the inside. Bright. Gambit way up the track. Lyman, can he clear? Ooh. Tight off the corner, but give it to Tyler Lyman as they come down Long Pond straight away. Coming to four to go. Still battling behind. The front four have cleared. Jim Gammon back to the inside Lyman now. Behind them, Jake Barker a little out of shape through the tunnel. Able to keep it going. These front two have pulled away. Christian Merrick Jr. has settled into third. Eli Bright is continuing to fall. Four to go this time.
and we've mentioned this many times before, Jim Gamma, one of the drivers that can get a win in all four series if he wins in the Arca series. Trying to do that here today. All right, now run second. Jake West finally gets to fourth as Eli Bright continuing to fall back to the right right now. Second in the points coming into today. Only behind Dan Bannon. Bannon right now 17th, not having the best run. He can definitely gain points on him. Go back up to the lead. Tyler Lyman still has it in the 92. He goes up the track just a little bit. Oh my gosh, they're racing close to the tunnel. No caution yet. I mean, I'm really surprised about that, but one wrong move through the tunnel and that could end your race. Eli Bright continuing to fall backwards. Something wrong with that nine car possibly. As they come to the line, three laps to go and he could fall back to the clutches of Dan Bannon if, if he keeps falling. Stuart Grant is right now entering the tunnel. I don't know if they'll catch him. There's still three laps to go, but that's a long way here at Pocono. Battle for third. Jake West underneath Christian Merrick Jr. Merrick using that high line of one and two, which, or, of one, which really works. As they come down the back. Here comes now Anthony. Oh, car hard into the wall. It's Derek Bouchard in the 52. Keep it green, though, as he did not go completely sideways. Jim Gamut still trying to run down Tyler Lyman. He got a great run through the tunnel that time. They come down the short shoot now. And they will see two laps to go at Pocono. Five miles this time. Front two have pulled away from the battle for third. Jim Gamut just ran his fast lap of the race last time by. As they come to the stripe. He's on the back of our lineman with now two laps to go. Has Gambit been saving up a run? The field mostly single file, so I don't think we will see a wreck. And if we do, it'll definitely be a weird one. As they enter turn one, Gambit keeps it down low. He has a little bit of a run on Lyman. Can Jim Gambit be the first to win in all four series? White flag this time. Tyler Lyman's out front of him, though. Here they come. Lyman into the tunnel. Jim Gammon into the tunnel. Two cars break away and they will have the shot to win. There will be a three-way battle for third behind. Through three. Here it is off a of three. White flag for Tyler Lyman. One lap to go at Pocono. The Pocono 150 coming. Come down to the last lap between two drivers battling hard for the win. Tyler Lyman and Jim Gambit. Approaching one now. Big pal for third. Lyman a little bit loose getting into one. Jim Gamble with a little bit of a run. Not enough to close up though as they come down the back stretch. Two cars break away from the field. Does Jim Gamble have one final run? Lyman through the tunnel. It was a great tunnel turn for him. He pulls away from Jim Gambit. As here they come into turn three. Lyman has a big enough lead on Jim Gamble that he can back it down a little bit into this corner. And off of turn number three, Tyler Lyman with a pass around the middle part of this race will win the Pocono 150 here at Pocono. And the rest of the field comes across. Tyler Lyman wins a fast race here at Pocono. Nine laps, he gets it done for that 92 team. Let's check the finishing results. Here are the finishing results from the Pocono 150 at Pocono. There are no caution flags and two lead changes among three different drivers. And Tyler Lyman gets the job done, leading three, five laps the most to win Jim Gambit second. And he, he was just short here today. Third, Jake West. Fourth, John Gambit. And fifth, Christian Merrick Jr. Your pulsator led three laps. In sixth with Anthony Wendler. Seventh was Eli Bright, so he closed in on the points lead. Eighth, Jay Barker, 9th Evan Rudd, and 10th was Bracing Collins. So there's your top 20. So your points leader coming into today. Dan Bannon ends up 17th. He holds the points lead, but has definitely shrunk in the past few races as Eli Bright has been on March. Another guy who was on the March before this race was Luke Rainey coming into his home track. He thought he would have had a great shot at a decent finish here today. And in fact, finishes 28th, and that does not help his case in the points as we will go now look at the point standings. Here are the point standings after Poconos. We're approaching halfway during the season, and it is Dan Bannon on top of the points list. Still, though, only 40 points over Eli Bright, who closes in in second. Anthony Wendler is up to third. Jim Gambit is fourth and fifth. 
is Anthony Rodriguez. In sixth, you have Brandon Butler. Seventh is Jeff Wright. Eighth is Christian Merrick Jr. Luke Rain drops to ninth after a bad race here today. And tenth, Jake West. So there's your top 20. As you can see right now, the front four are actually not winners. Then you have four winners in a row, and then two non winners to round out the top 10. So right now, wins hasn't actually guaranteed you a good uh, spot in the points. It's more about consistency in this series. As you can see, Dan Bannon with the most top 10s and top 5s, and in fact, uh, with six each. And Eli Bright tied for the top 10s with six and has five top 5s. So they have about been even this season. Ty Lyon with that win moves up to 25th in the points, so still not a great season for him, but he's going to look to uh, bounce back, gain some positions in the points, and hey, who knows, if the points leaders have trouble in these next few races, then uh, he could definitely take advantage. As the next race, we will probably see some trouble. It will be the Speedco 150 at Road America. See you guys then.